I'm gonna give y'all the quick version of stop. Right quick. Stop going to jail. Period. What's going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. <laughs> She's going to jail. Period. Um, let me see. Lance Gross and Luke James are friends now. I guess because his ex-wife done left town. I'm sick of Star was so boring to me last night. I was sitting there in front of the TV like, girl, I can't be bothered with this. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. The whole episode was everybody was beefing. I was just, uh, ugh, ugh. Yeah. Lil Deanie is back, and I hate him. If he gonna keep popping up on the show, I'm, I might have to stop watching. I hate him. I genuinely hate Lil Deanie. I hate him. Um, Lesbian Auntie Kiki Palmer is back, and I call her Lesbian Auntie Kiki Palmer for those of you who um, weren't there with the creation of, <laughs> of this, which is most of y'all. I call her lesbian auntie Kiki Palmer because she she be dressing like a lesbian auntie that's you know just fresh divorced from her husband and has decided now that she's a lesbian and she going on about her gay way. <laughs> you see her picture sometimes and I just be like, she really looks like a newly liberated <laughs> auntie. She had this little flipped wig with the, the bangs. It was a mess. Anyway, she here. She beefing with Alex. I just really found it distasteful that the two, you know, dark-skinned black girls on the label are beefing. Ayana would not stand for this. Bring back Michael Michelle. Bring back my girl. Don't nobody care about, and Carlotta wasn't even in this episode, but don't nobody care about her running the, I'm not here for Miss Bruce running nothing. I don't care about Lance Gross running nothing. I Bring me back, Ayana. Bring me back, Michael Michelle. I said what I said, and I ain't changed girl a bug you know it's getting warm it's getting warm um what else simone still fighting a good fight for angel at some point my mama said well what happened to um the the record exec the, the, the cuban man what happened to his wife i said everybody go with simone go missing they be dead or they go missing i don't know what simone got going on everybody go with her go missing so if you interested in dating Simone think about it because you might go missing I'm just letting you know I you it's just okay girl drive on the right side of the street so you won't hit my car thank you Elvis so appreciate it um anyway <laughs> I just she, she had a lot going on she looked like she was coming right for me I, I already told y'all in 911 if I gotta shoot I'm gonna shoot um but yeah anybody go with Simone go missing so Angel Karen and uh, Cuban wife missing missing but she fighting a good fight for Angel I don't understand I don't understand but I mean I understand the, the compulsion to fight for you know immigrants like I get that but this is so personal to her it's like but you, you wanted a divorce last Tuesday now come you know Thursday and you sitting here and you fighting a good fight for your husband my husband was taken and it's like a girl, a girl okay what else? Uh, Zulai from all them Tyler Perry uh, things and from that one movie with Channing Tatum that I saw when I was a child called Fighting. <laughs> She's here. And I'm watching, I'm I'm looking at the show last night and I just kept telling my mama they was in the Tyler Perry movie together. Yeah, them too. They was in the Tyler Perry movie together too. Them, yep, Tyler Perry movie. Because you had Brandy and Lance Gross who was in that movie that Tyler Perry wrote about uh, Journey Smiley getting AIDS. You had Zulai and I think that man's name is William. Cuban uh, record, record exec. Them two was in the movie about um, single mothers, which is literally all of them. But the one where they all you know, they was going to the movies and stuff. That one. Um, it was just you kept saying just I, everybody was in these Tyler Perry movies together. Now they didn't come over to Lee Daniels. It's like Tyler Perry, are you leasing your actors to Lee Daniels? What is going on? You watched I watched Star, and I'd be sitting there like, I really feel like he he is subletting these actors. So what is going on? Y'all are going to jail, period. I'm calling your probation officer. You're going to jail. That way. Anyway, um, Noah is losing relevance. I don't it, it I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Is he supposed to be the Chris Brown of this universe? Because Chris Brown ain't lost no relevance. He's done lord knows how many things in this world and he has not lost relevance so and they're talking about noah is getting old and it's just like 
it, it, bu it bugged me because it's like all he doing is minding his business <laughs> a lot of the folks in this this episode all they was doing was minding their business alex was minding her business here come lesbian auntie Gigi with her her lesbian aunties <laughs> lesbian auntie had her lesbian auntie fighting her fights and, and acting a fool and i'm just like what is going on at one point Gigi, who is kiki palmer if y'all don't watch the show Gigi's um aunties was like you ain't never gonna be nobody but you know that little hood girl from college park and i'm sitting here like first of all kiki palmer don't have enough um <laughs> enough twang in her speaking voice to have ever been from college park ever ever she enunciates she over enunciates so it just it's not it i <laughs> she's not a hood girl from college park i can tell you that she might be a hood girl from the bronx probably not but but she ain't I, she not southern and you won't put that lie out there no more now nah, listen <laughs> as a heifer from the south i won't stand for y'all putting these random folks down it, it it's not it's not relevant she could have been a hood girl from anywhere else why y'all tried to make her from atlanta it ain't right it ain't right anyway um i don't i don't care <laughs> at some point noah was afraid he was losing relevance so he asks alex if he can go to this party she got invited to this you know legendary party for this legendary award ceremony we about to have that i ain't never heard of um and they go to the party together and i'm sitting here like are we not there's no contention Derek don't feel some kind of way about Alex and Noah going to this party together that's odd to me if I were Derek I would feel a little bit of a way because we all know the history between Alex and Noah we know that she cheated on Noah I mean on Alex I mean on uh, Derek with Noah we all saw that on live TV they were you know making out when they had that so sick of love songs that song they sang together I've been giving all of you you've been giving all of me that song and when they did that live performance and they had kissed it and everybody was like oh my god i can't believe they were believed in the media to be a couple so them showing up at this party together first of all not great media wise second of all i wouldn't trust them hoes these is ho these two fine chocolatey heifers is hoes <laughs> me and my light skin insecurities would not allow i wouldn't allow it Ooh, the ghetto Ooh, the light skin jumped out of me anyway I'm gonna tuck it back in. Um, so Gigi decides that she wants to foil Alex's performance by performing with her. So they get up on the stage. And before that, Alex is like, it's a live performance. You never know what's gonna happen in a live performance. They get up there, honey, and they supposed to be singing a duet, but Gigi might don't work. So she got to get off the stage. And I'm like, girl, why are we beefing? That's the thing I don't really get about Lee Daniels. His shows have a lot of beef and a lot of contention, but most of it don't make sense. All of a sudden, folks be beefing, and you just be like, what? What? It's like on Empire that season when his brother came up out of nowhere, and they was beefing. Or his random son came up out of nowhere, and they was beefing. It's like, why? What? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. Um, but anyway, so at the party that they was at, Noah and Ladini got into some beef. Noah punched Ladini in the face. Obviously, that put some strain on his back. He been having back problems. He get home. He takes some pills. And that's the end of the episode. Then, I forgot to tell y'all, an office was destroyed. And um, Brandy's ex-boyfriend, the white man, comes in and threatens the Cuban guy. I, it really, I wasn't paying much attention, honestly. He threatens his uncle. and You, know, you have to watch. <laughs> You have to watch, girl. I, I do not have the time or the energy to give y'all all of that today. I don't. Bye. <laughs>